You know what I realize? I be a fleshly sermons, no found to preach. Be a sermons of the flesh. On a now serving a purpose as true ministers. Many of you on a now preach nothing to the people to help them grow, to help them mature and become better. The Bible said that the fivefold is, is, is a gift unto the church for the perfecting of the saints. You know what perfecting mean? Perfecting mean fully develop. Perfecting mean maturity. But many of you, all you do is come out every single day and preach to the people about But your enemy this, and your enemy that, and the one didn't like you, and the one they try to fight you, and the one didn't like you because they are 19, and the one they do this, and the one they do that, and God go do them this because they don't like you, and God go do them that because they don't like you. All look and do a feed the people in flesh. All look and do a feed my people in hatred, so people can start hate people more and more, so people can have, have competition more and more. The Bible, warn, the, the Bible actually warn us about competition. The Bible warns about the spirit of emulation. Emulation, the Bible call it. That, and that's actually a work of the flesh. The Bible warns us about um, hatred, which is also another work of the flesh. The Bible warns us about witchcraft, which is also another work of the flesh. But these are the things that you preach. Many of you not found to preach to the people. Every time you do certain sermons, every time you talk about you have a message, it's all about feeding their flesh, feeding their hatred, feeding more competition, emulation, feeding more witchcraft. Because right after when you tell them about them enemy this and who fight them and who don't like them, when you teach them how to do witchcraft prayers against people, when you teach them how to do manipulation prayers against people, when you teach them, you teach them how to go chant Psalms for that one day, and Psalms this for that one day, and Psalms that for that one day. I be a fleshy sermon not found to preach. Be a fleshy sermon when you now feed their spirit, when you now sow into their spirit. Watch, look how the, look how the apostles write to the church. Have you ever seen them write to the church and I talk about who don't like you, from who don't like you, and we need to, do to, and we need to pray against them? Look how they teach them. They teach them how to go about life. How to treat them enemy. How to work. They teach you how to become better husbands. Better wife. Teach the children them how to respect their elders. Teach them various things. That's what they go, they go and teach them. Teach them how to go about business. Teach them how to live in the last days and carry themselves in the last days. And teach them how to regard others. But oh no, what call themselves ministers? I don't know what I teach them. I teach people how to hate one another and fight against one another. And talk about that one they don't like you. And that one they are fighting over this. And that one they say they are 19 upon you. And that one did this and that one did a beer. Fleshly sermons not found to preach. You know, stop teaching sermons of the flesh. And start to preach sermons of the spirit. So into the people and spirit. If, if, if you are really called, then you should be perfecting the saints. You should be edifying them. And you should, teach, and you should be teaching them the truth in love. Go and read the scripture. Not found, not, not found in even no scripture. A be sermons of the flesh, not found to preach. And then go on like say. You know, and, and then I talk about uh, the spirit of the Lord uh, is up on you for preach that way there. The spirit of the Lord is up on you for preach sermons of the flesh. I only think you know a fool. I only think enough of no fool. Let me tell you, you probably can't fool many people out there, but you can't fool me. Because if the Spirit of the Lord is upon you, how can the Spirit of the Lord at, uh, uh, is upon you if you teach people, if you hate somebody else? How can the Spirit of the Lord be upon you if you teach somebody else for on competition with somebody else? How can the Spirit of the Lord be upon you and then uh, and I talk about the anointing is upon me if you teach somebody else for work witchcraft? When you can't fool, who no can't fool, but you can't fool me. You probably can't fool some of them people up on TikTok, but you can't fool me. And you can't fool those who know the truth. Start teaching the truth. Start sowing at the people in spirit. And stop sowing at the people in flesh.